Welcome to Evaluating Online Sources, a City Tech Library tutorial. Before we dive in and look at some sources, I wanted to spell a myth that some sources are bad and others are good. While it is true that false and misleading information is published online all the time, that doesn't mean those sources aren't good material for evaluation or critique. What you don't want to do is take all the information you find online at face value. Instead, you want to think critically about the context in which things are created and the context in which you're using a source. For example, imagine you're working on a research assignment and your topic is about climate change, renewable energy, and politics. Here's your thesis statement. The lack of recognition of climate change as a human caused problem at the federal level results in government policies that inhibit alternative energy production. Great thesis statement, by the way. While not traditionally a source for research, would this tweet by Donald Trump be appropriate for your project? And if you think, yeah, since this tweet provides evidence that the federal government doesn't recognize that climate change is caused by humans, which is part of your thesis statement, it would probably be useful for your project. So you see how a good or useful source isn't the same thing as a credible source? Even though almost any source can be useful for a research project, it's still important to be able to pick a credible source out of a crowd. You also want to pay attention to anything that your professor has included in your assignment, and make sure you choose the kind of sources that they require. You actually evaluate sources every time you do a Google search, without even realizing it. When you th look for things that were published recently, or you look for publications that you trust or recognize, and when you pay attention to whether or not a site has a .gov, .com, .org, or .edu extension. That's part of evaluating sources. And there are a few other things you want to think about once you've clicked on a source and this are deciding whether or not you want to use it for your project. First, you want to think about relevance. Is the source related to the topic that you're exploring? Does it help support your thesis or advance your argument? You want to think about expertise. Who wrote the source and what do they know? Are they an expert? Are they trained as a journalist? You want to think about currency. When was a source written? Is it up to date? You also want to think about accuracy. Does the website itself has, have editorial standards? Does the source integrate factual data or evidence or cite other sources? Do you notice any evidence of bias? Lastly, you want to think about the purpose of the source. Why was it created in the first place? What is it trying to do? Let's give it a try. Take a look at the source from the LA Times. Now think about, is it relevant? Is it related to your topic? Who wrote the source? Are they an expert? Are they a trained journalist? Can you see when the source was written or last updated? Is this recent enough for a topic that's rapidly changing? Does the source seem accurate at first glance? Do you notice links to other sources or evidence that are used to back up claims? Does the source seem to have an agenda or bias? And lastly, why was this source written and published? Okay, so have you decided whether or not this source is a good fit for your project? No, I'm not going to tell you. It's your project. But if you still need help, ask us. Librarians are available to chat with you 24 seven.